To change out your hatch lock, you will need to remove the interior hatch panel. Please see our article and video on interior panel removal by following the link at the end of this video for additional assistance. With the hatch panel off, you can see the different components. The rear handle, blue arrow, the actuator, yellow arrow, the wiring connection, green arrows, and the lock, red arrow. To remove or replace the actuator, disconnect the connecting rod, red arrow, from the lock, yellow arrow, by reaching through the access hole and popping the rod out of its plastic retainer in the lock. Use an 8mm wrench and loosen the two bolts holding it in place, red arrows. You do not need to remove the bolts, just loosen them enough to allow the actuator to slide out. Slide the actuator out from the mounts and towards the center of the door. Disconnect the vacuum line from the actuator, red arrow. Use care as these vacuum lines can get brittle over the years and any cracks you cause will lead to a leak and lead to failure of the system. Remove the two rods connecting the handle to the locking mechanism. One will pop out of its plastic mount, yellow arrow, and then lift the locking mechanism and slide the rod out, red arrow. Lift the lower electrical connection from the plastic mounting clip and separate the three-prong connector, red arrow. Use a flathead screwdriver and pop the upper electrical connector out from its mount in the hatch, red arrow. Slide the cover off the connection, red arrow, and separate them. Remove the two 10mm bolts from the lower latching mechanism, red arrow. Remove the three 10mm bolts holding the mechanism in place, red arrows. Push the lock out from the rear of the door and remove the locking mechanism from the hatch. You can replace the lock tumbler, red arrow, separately by removing the two 8mm bolts, yellow arrows. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.